If you're an Android user, you'll need Vive AI to link up with Google Gemini to handle some tasks. Here, we'll show you how to make Vive AI work smoothly with Gemini. First, check if you have the Gemini mobile app installed on your phone. If it's not, go to the Google Play Store and download Google Gemini. Now, launch the Gemini app and tap your account avatar. Go to Apps and then scroll through the list. You'll see which apps Gemini can connect to and what it can do with each one. Turn on the switch next to each app you want Vive AI to work with. For example, if you want to create reminders or events using Vive AI, you'll need to turn on Google Workspace under Productivity. And if you want to control your Google Smart Home devices, turn on Google Home under Device Control. If you'd like to play music from Spotify or YouTube Music, turn those on under Media. Take a moment to go through the list and turn on the apps you want Vive AI to work with. Check back occasionally to see what new apps Gemini can support. After turning on all the app permissions you need, go back to the main Gemini app screen. Tap your account avatar again and go to Settings. Scroll down and tap Gemini on lock screen. Turn on Use Gemini without unlocking. This ensures that Vive AI can work on tasks even when your phone is locked. Next, go back again to the Settings page and tap Digital Assistance from Google. Then, select Gemini to be your default digital assistant. Last thing, if you're using a Samsung phone, you'll need to disable Bixby. Go to Settings, Apps, Bixby, and then tap Disable, Disable App. That's it. Vive AI is now ready to be your everyday assistant. Make sure your glasses are connected to Vive Connect on your phone and just say, Hey Vive. And then let Vive AI know what you want it to do.